Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be testing out new products for you guys. However, they're not new to the market, but they're new to me. Because you guys, if you've watched my channel, you know I kind of like stick to the same kind of thing. So we have some new things to try out today. And if you guys saw my vlog, I just picked these up a few days ago. So we are gonna test them out today and see how they work. I have already applied my face makeup just to save us some time. However, I am gonna be trying out the Jaclyn Hill palette, two eyebrow products, and Morphe setting spray. So those are the items that I'm gonna try out today. So we're gonna start off with this palette, which does retail for $36, but you get all of these gorgeous shades. Oh, I'm so excited. And honestly, like I will use every single one of these shades. The only ones that I don't really dabble into is down here. Those really, really dark ones I don't, but I might even play with these. So I'm really excited to try this, but this whole section screams my name because those are my everyday colors. So if you're a neutral kind of person, yes, but we'll see, we'll see. And remember guys, I am not a makeup artist. I am not Jaclyn Hill. I am not as wonderful and talented as so many beautiful makeup artists there are out there. Like I'm just kind of like your basic makeup girl who enjoys playing with makeup. So hi, that's me, hi. <laughs> so we're just gonna start off with, <gasps> I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this shade here. It's the third, and I'm just gonna use that as, I don't know, we're just gonna put that in the crease. I can't see what I'm doing. I need a mirror. I need a mirror. Oh, that's so cute. And just notice it said this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers. Hi. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put this like right in the crease, I guess as a transition kind of color, or maybe just my base color in general, and see. If I'm looking off to the side, my camera is over here. Or my, my mirror. Oh yeah, this is like a perfect base shade. Cute. Such a like a pretty, just light shade. Next, let's go into this warm one, this warm color here. This shade. Mm, yeah. I need to change my brush. Yes, my perfect everyday colors. <gasps> this is perfect for every day. Okay, that's pretty much my base of what I'm gonna do because I don't do too, too much. All right, so I'm gonna take this shade SBN and just tap this little brush in it just a bit. It's the Naked Urban Decay brush. It's a little bit more like packed, I guess, and I'm just gonna like tap that on the outer corner and into the crease just a little bit I read this all wrong so I thought like the color okay so this is this aqua color when I flipped it over I thought the color was right behind like the actual shade so I have been reading you guys the wrong colors the whole time like the names of them but I pointed to them, so I hope you guys know which colors I used. This video is going well. Anyways, ugh. This is why I don't film makeup videos. Okay, so I'm gonna take this shade here, which I believe is called Little Lady. But if you turn it over, the color that's right behind that is in light, but I think that's this one over here. So I've been reading you guys the wrong shade colors, which is fabulous, but I'm gonna take little lady and put that all over my lid which is my finger because I think shimmers usually apply so much better when you use your finger so I'm gonna go in Ooh, I really like that I can't believe I did that like I read all those colors wrong <laughs> I should use a different finger <laughs> oh I think it's pretty Next, I'm going to take this darker brown shade here and this IT Cosmetics brush and just dip it in a tiny bit and just stamp it or run it through my lower lash line. Just to give me like a light liner because I don't really like liner. It tends to leak on me and I don't like that. So I actually just enjoy putting a little bit of powder 
down there to line my water line. I need an inner corner highlight brush, but I'm gonna use my pinky. I'm gonna take this shade here and just kind of like stamp that in the inner corner. Like that. Oh, I love this palette already. Like this is legit my everyday eye look. Love it. A plus for me. I purchased these two brow products. The brow product actually that I just finished was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil and I just ran out and that lasted me a long time. Loved it. But this one is more affordable. It's the L'Oreal Brow Dot Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette. And it kind of like has that same vibe and then I also found this one because they were buy one get one half off and this is the brow stylist shape and fill triangular tip so I got the two that kind of like resemble that so we'll see how they work I'm gonna use this side the brow what is this one the brow stylist definer which is more of like the thin pencil I'm gonna use on this side and then the triangle one I'm gonna use on this side that way we can see the difference and I did just get my brows done I got them threaded for the first time ever and I'm obsessed and I love it and I will for now be getting my brows threaded more often and I am very excited because I really haven't gotten my brows done like I was doing them myself I hadn't got them done since like it's been over a year maybe not I don't know anyways so it comes with a spoolie on one end so I'm gonna just brush the hairs up like look at that look at that I'm gonna zoom you guys in a smidge there we go. So brush them up and then we're going to take this side and see, I mean, I don't even almost need to fill them in really because they're just, she did so perfect. All right. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Very subtle. Very nice. Very light strokes. So I kind of just in the front, just kind of like flick up just a tad and then just go with the natural line and just line that underneath here and then I do the same thing with the top and drag this down like that and then I just kind of like lightly flick brush fill them in oh I like this brow pencil look at that this is great and it's affordable okay so there's the difference this is the brow pencil side Oh, wrong, wrong end. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with the. Whoa, a bird just landed right there. Scared me. Hi, birds. We're going in with the Brow Stylist Shape and Fill Triangular Brush in the shade Brunette, which is the same shade, hopefully. Ooh, it's thicker. Okay. You got your spoolie on one end. That's the other thing. I love brow products that come with the spoolie. It makes it very imp simple. Imple? Okay, brushing up. Okay. Well, I don't know. Look how thick that is. They're gonna look so different, aren't they? <laughs> oh. Okay, well. Here we go. Flicking the front. And now I'm gonna use the like pointed end of the triangle to line the bottom. And then that pointed end to line the top. And then just use the full bit of it and just fill that in. My brows are a little sore from getting them threaded, I will say. They're a little bit sore. But I think that's pretty good for me. I love both of these products. Okay. I think they look pretty good. I think both of these are great. And I'll probably be getting these over and over and over again because I love them that much. Oh, we get to try out new setting spray and I wanna put this on before. Actually, I wanna go in with a little bit of a shimmer shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. That same one that's on my lid, I think I wanna line that. I think I wanna take that and like put it under here. Ooh. I am obsessed. Okay, 
There we go. Now let's use this Morphe setting spray. I was really excited about this because every time I've gone to purchase this, they've been out, they haven't had it. So when I went to Ulta and they had it, I was like, <laughs> finally. And this is half of the price that I usually pay for mine. I usually get the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. This one is only $16 and I'm so excited to try this. I'm scared. What's happening? Oh, oh, oh my God. That's magical. Holy crap. Okay, I probably shouldn't make any faces. This is the most fine, gorgeous mist. Okay, we need the fan. The mist of this product is insane. It is so, it feels like you're spraying a really refreshing water mist on your face and Wow. Wow, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna finish this look with some lip gloss and then a mascara. These two products are not new, so. On the top lashes, I like to use the Tarte Man Eater Mascara, and then on the bottom, I actually use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara because it is getting very hot and humid here in Florida, and this, does not run on me, so I use this for my lower lash line. Yay, mascara top is done. Let's go in with the lower. I always think like mascara, oh, I got it on my face, makes such a huge difference, and it just brings the look all together. I don't use a lot on the lower lash line, just like a little dusting, <laughs> a dusting. And then, which gloss should I go for? I think this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in Parfait. And then this one is pink, is it tourmaline, which I use like all the time. I think I'm gonna use this rosier color in the shade Parfait. Ooh. It's almost kind of like copper. It smells like vanilla. This is so easy to apply. If you guys want me to do more like everyday casual makeup looks, let me know in the comments below. All right, so this is the finished look. It's very simple. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. No. I put my fingernail in one of the eyeshadows already, which is called, is it Hillster, I think? What color did I use? Oh, no, wait, SBN. This shade here, and it is called, I think I've been reading all these shades wrong. I have been reading them wrong, right? This is confusing, man. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. It's very looked. 